Well, hello there! I'm the Cozy Platypus, and I love stories. So much so, in fact, that I decided to create my own and play it out in The Sims. So, welcome to episode one of Chronically Connected. And this story is going to follow these two sisters here. You can see they're having a morning meditation first thing this morning. Um, we have Eris and Darcy, and I thought we would tell a story through them and just see where it takes us. Before they get into their day, I'm going to hop into casts real quick and show you uh, their traits and their outfits and everything like that and give you a quick rundown of who these sisters are. Okay, so first off, we have Eris here. Her name is Eris Croft. These girls just barely became young adults and recently enrolled in university. So that's where we're starting their story. For Eris, she's very driven. She's the most driven person you've ever met. She, she wants to succeed. She wants to do well in everything that she sets her mind to. So her aspiration is university life. Uh, this is a modded aspiration. So it's just kind of like a tweaked version of the aspiration that comes with the university pack that just kind of makes it more like a well-rounded experience in college. So that's what I have her aspiration as right now. And then her traits are overachiever, good, neat, seasonal affective disorder which is a modded trait as well so she has a seasonal depression basically and then unflirty and her likes and dislikes she likes yellow purple gray she likes blues music retro music and dislikes pop music she likes funny sims hardworking sims homebody sims optimistic sims and dislikes ambitionless sims and rascals she likes to talk about small talk, deep thoughts, discussing hobbies, and does not like deception, affection, or malicious interactions. She also really enjoys baking, fitness, uh, wellness, and gardening, and she does not like to play video games. She doesn't like to have to DIY her way through life with handiness. Uh, so that's kind of the rundown of her likes and dislikes, and here are her outfits. She has a passion for fitness and cooking as well and she is on on route. Uh, her goal is to become a nurse so she's going to college right now and eventually she will join the nursing career which again is a modded career. I added a lot of mods to my game for this playthrough specifically uh, because I wanted to tell a specific story and I needed mods to be able to do that. So Eris is going to be a nurse and she is very close with her sister. They have two parents and they have one older brother who ha is married with a son and we'll be meeting them soon. As you can see, she's very much put together like all the time. She likes to be business casual basically or just straight like business most of the time. She has well done hair no matter what she's wearing and she just likes to present a very put together front pretty much wherever she's at. And then we have her sister Darcy Croft and this is Darcy. Her traits are creative, loner, socially awkward, loyal, and chronic headaches. My original plan I had a mod modded trait that I found that was chronically ill trait. It was a chronically ill trait and her storyline, Darcy's kind of purpose in this story is to represent chronic illness. I personally have been a chronic illness warrior for over 10 years now and I really liked the idea of being able to represent that in The Sims and show people a realistic look at what the day-to-day -day life of someone who might have any type of chronic illness, whatever it might be, how it might affect their life. So 
that's that's really a lot of the inspiration that I drew when I was seeking out Darcy's traits being kind of a loner and socially awkward like obviously not everyone that has chronic illness is going to be socially awkward or likes to be alone but because of the restriction that you tend to get when you don't have the energy to spend a lot of time outside of the house, you tend to get used to being alone a lot more than other people might. That is kind of the inspiration for her. I could not use the chronic illness trait that I found. I tried a couple and none of them were working correctly. So I decided to do this trait, which is chronic headaches. And then I think I have like extra traits that I added to her asthmatic. I think there's an immunocompromised one as well. So it will definitely be affecting her mood and the, what she's able to do in a day. We're going to use Darcy to kind of dive into that. And then Darcy's kind of mindset at this point in her life is that she's just going to like being alone because of her perspective on her chronic illness. She doesn't think anyone would want her. Obviously that's not true, but that is kind of her mindset right now. So her aspiration is Lady of the Knits. She's just kind of like accepted her fate, you know? She's like, I'm just gonna be, you know, that crazy cat lady that never gets married and just likes to knit and that's pretty much my life. So we're starting her off with that trait or that aspiration and we're just gonna see where that takes us from there. And then uh, we have colors. She likes green, blues, browns, dislikes red and yellow. She likes cottagecore music, classical music, electronica, and spooky music. And she also dislikes pop music. She likes sims that are hardworking, high energy, idealist, family motivated, so cerebral and, and dislikes sims that are egotistical or emotional decision makers and then for conversation topics she loves telling stories she likes having deep thoughts and discussing hobbies and she dislikes compliments gossip and arguments and then for activities she likes knitting and painting and dislikes video gaming i actually need to add piano to this because she is a musician that's kind of her and singing as well that's kind of her lifelong goal secretly. She has not really embraced that fully, but she wants to become, well, she has a passion for for music. Right now she's focusing more on knitting, but really her passion is music. I really kind of channeled how chronic illness has affected me and like the choices that I make about what I'm wearing and all of that in her outfits and kind of reflected a lot of that through what she wore. A lot of her outfits are very like easy throw on, you know, t-shirts, sweaters, leggings, and that's pretty much just her vibe. You know, she doesn't, definitely does not put a lot of energy in the way she looks. And in a lot of ways you can tell, like, especially her formal wear, that she's kind of hiding at this point. You know, she's just kind of like existing and she doesn't really have a lot of confidence in herself. Her hair is just kind of the way that it grows out of her head. She throws it in a braid occasionally and then the rest of the time is just down and she doesn't really do anything with it. A lot of her character creation really kind of dove into how I wanted to represent my experience with chronic illness and how it has affected me. As I mentioned, she has a passion for knitting, music, and visual art. She's really close to Eris, as well as her older brother and his wife and son. Kind of on purpose, I decided to not like, I'm not gonna pigeonhole her with one disease. You know, she has chronic headaches, she has some uh, asthmatic issues, and she tends to get sick a lot, but I'm kind of leaving the diagnosis for her open-ended so that if you have chronic illness or you know someone that does, my goal and attempt will be to try to play her in a way that would be as accurate as possible to as many people that might have whatever chronic illness you might have as possible. Darcy is also taking college classes, but she's only taking like one kind of like online, you know, in the time that she has that she has energy for it. But we are gonna get into it now. Okay, we're gonna let them get started on their morning. Eris is enrolled in biology, the biology degree from university. 
and then she has a distinguished degree and then Darcy is in a fine art degree she could have gotten a distinguished degree if she had gone to Brightchester but because her sister was going to Foxbury she wanted to be close to her sister so she's just taking that they just moved in this is one of the apartments in the eco lifestyle as you can tell they just moved in they don't have a lot of money <laughs> so far they are kind of just starting out so their place is a little bit grungy you know it's two college students first apartment so they have a living room here they have some boxes and paintings they haven't unpacked and set up yet some kind of old raggedy furniture in here like stuff that they've thrifted they have a little kitchen and a little breakfast nook in here they have an office with an easel a cork board they've got uh this is darcy's drawing tablet and they have like a really old computer and then this is Darcy's room she has you know bed dresser all of that but a bunch of boxes that she still needs to unpack and she has a keyboard here she's got pictures arranged by the wall here she hasn't put them up and she's got a suitcase she hasn't unpacked yet and then over here we have Eris's room she loves her clothes so she has this huge closet over here more boxes that she hasn't unpacked and she's got a vanity over here as well with all of her makeup and stuff and then in here is just a really basic bathroom they got their stuff you know just the basic essentials uh we will definitely be upgrading this as they make some more money for now this is just their starter apartment they are gonna work on some homework eris especially has a lot of homework to get through so we're gonna try to spend some time today getting her through some of that she's definitely the kind of person that like does not procrastinate her homework while darcy is just like kind of fighting for her life over here <laughs> doing what she can while having a headache. Actually, I might have them go to the school spirit day. It is Saturday and they're new students, so it can be like kind of their orientation. Darcy's gonna come along, but she's not feeling well. She has a headache right now, so she might just end up sitting on a bench and watching her sister. Why are you sad? Seasonal depression, okay. Yeah, it is fall, so that makes sense that she would be struggling with that. And I forgot to mention, where is this? Hold on. Hold on. Spirit day? Yeah, it's over here. Okay. I did forget to mention for Eris that she hasn't really told anyone about her seasonal depression. She just kind of weathers that alone and doesn't really seek help with it. She's very much of the mindset that she doesn't want to seem weak. There's some issues with their parents and family not really getting chronic illness and have kind of been a bit ableist because of it. And Darcy really struggles with that. Uh, and she often ends up feeling very, I don't know, lesser than, I guess. Just like she can't contribute as much because of that. And so... Eris, when she started getting a bit sad in the winter, uh, she didn't really feel like she had the freedom to talk about that and get help for it because uh, she didn't want to feel weak or like that she couldn't provide for herself. Clearly, they're not completely healthy in the way that they handle the situation that they're in. That hopefully will change over the course of time. Let's have you get... Let's have her get a fish sandwich. And Darcy... She's feeling good. There's no one here. This is not a very good spirit day if there's no one else here. Where's the school spirit? Maybe we'll have the two of them play ping pong. They might as well, they're here. Honestly, I have too many mods installed. The game struggles. There's too much for it to load and probably part of them need to be updated or something. I did have to stop and completely delete like everything in my mods folder and start over which is why it's been so long since i've uploaded any sims content because it took a bit to do all of that as you might be able to imagine she gained a lifestyle already the people person lifestyle that doesn't sound right there's no one here spirit day is ending in an hour and there is no one here we are just playing ping pong by ourselves well so much for meeting some of our classmates. Are they all over here for some reason? Shouldn't there be like the mascot? Are these people even students? 
These people don't say that they're like even part of the school spirit thing, so I don't know. I guess they're just going to enjoy their game of ping pong and call it a day. Eris has a bunch of schoolwork still that she needs to finish. Oh, oh, no, oh, that was almost a volley. Well, there's someone over here playing the guitar. I guess we missed Sphere Day. Maybe we took too long. Oh, the table's gone. Okay, well, we uh, overstayed our welcome. I guess we'll go back home then. Spirit Day's over, and Spirit Day was a major bust. No one showed up but us, so apparently we were either too late or too early. Hopefully at some point soon we'll be able to actually meet some of our classmates. At least Eris. I don't know if Darcy is going to be quite as into that. We'll have to meet some of our classmates at some point soon. We're going to have Eris come in and get her just like power through her homework for the night. And then I think Darcy has some homework for a elective that she's taking for violin and country music so she's gonna do that and then probably practice the piano for a bit well that's not exactly what i meant for you to do but i guess that's fine you know you have a table that you could work at or like a couch or your desk but sure sit in the driveway i guess while they're doing that i'm going to delete this easel honestly I have this uh, journal that you can like write entries in. So I might use that for, I think Darcy is the kind of person that would keep a journal. So I might do that for her. I don't really see any other skill building things at the moment that I want to add in this space. So I might just leave it empty for now and call it good. Maybe we'll get like a cat bowl. I think I would like them to adopt a pet sometime soon. So they have a little companion. Darcy needs a little companion to, oops, that's the wrong one, to hang out with her when Eris is out doing her thing. Of course, they probably need to, they're like getting supplies, but I feel like maybe it's a bit too early. They haven't even fully unpacked yet. They're excited about the, the idea. They're kind of shopping around online for like some options, you know, but haven't quite found the perfect match that they're looking for yet. So they'll have the supplies. So they're ready to go if they do find a cat that they want to adopt. But for now, they just got the supplies and then they'll, they'll look for a pet later on after they have a chance to unpack some. Your dad is calling you. Guess who just got a promotion? No, not you, it was me. Success, here I come. So your dad, his name is Leo. I was thinking that I will probably do a mod list at some point soon. I've seen several mod lists, like YouTube videos of people talking about like their current mods, but a lot of them are from several years ago and a lot of them just do not work anymore. So I would like to make a mod list of like what I have installed and what I have found that does work still in 2024 with all of the updates that have come out in the past couple years. Darcy is done with her homework and now she is going to come practice the keyboard while Eris finishes up. I thought I was hearing something. I didn't know these neighbors could be noisy. <sighs> That's annoying. I was hoping that because you we weren't in city living that we wouldn't have to deal with noisy neighbors. Apparently that is not the case. Okay. I wouldn't necessarily call that piano, but I get it. Like, if you've ever played on a keyboard, that's just what you do. Dogs and cats barking and meowing. Apparently, though, the neighbors are having a party. I might have Eris stop and come tell them to stop because she's trying to get some homework done and they're being really loud. Can I not? Hello? I can break in or I can switch control to the household, but I can't. The sentiment went away. Apparently they're no longer making noise, even though they're clearly still making noise. If you insist, you're gonna go cry in your bed. Actually, that kind of makes sense. You know, Darcy's busy. She's in her room playing the piano and she has this moment alone where no one is like can notice that she's struggling. So she goes and cries in her bed to try to make herself feel better because she doesn't really feel like she can turn to anyone else. Go watch her sister play, try to cheer herself up. It is helping to make you feel less sad. I'll let you take a shower in the morning. Let's just have you go to the bathroom. 
You can't sleep right now because the neighbors are too noisy. Okay, but here's the problem with that. The neighbors are no longer being noisy. So... Do you see the, like, confusion here? I guess you can work on your homework for a bit longer then. Oh, they're not. So why can't I go to sleep? Oh, I can now. Okay, awesome. All right, yeah, it is 1.30 in the morning. I'll let you finish your homework for your CSI class, and then we'll head off to bed. And while she's doing that, Darcy is over here grabbing some food and getting ready for bed. So it is 2 a.m. Definitely time for bed. I just left her bowl on the table. Actually, I get that. Sometimes you just don't have the energy to pick up after yourself. I totally understand. All right, well, I think I'm gonna end it there as they wrap up their night for the evening. I really enjoy playing with these sisters and I'm excited to get back to it soon. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I had a blast and I hope you did as well. I think tomorrow in game is Parents Day, which is kind of ironic because as I'm recording this, it is literally Father's Day. They're gonna spend the day with their parents and their brother and his family, so we'll be able to get a little introduction to their family and the rest of the cast of characters that surround them. And hopefully we'll be able to also start Eris's journey in college and see what Darcy gets up to in the meantime. Let me know in the comments what you think about this series and these sisters. I'd love your feedback. If there's anything that you're interested in seeing them do, please let me know. I'd love to chat with you and maybe implement some of your feedback and suggestions. Right now, I've been playing The Sims 4, obviously, and also some Stardew Valley if you'd like to check that out. But I plan to start incorporating even more cozy gaming content very soon. So please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. But until then, I hope you have an awesome day.